Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video giving my thoughts on FX officially renewing the strain for a fourth season. Okay, so this one is both happy and sad for me because they have renewed it for a fourth season, but that's going to be the final season. That's going to be the final straw. So I'll put the link in the description to Variety for you guys so you can go ahead and read it. The Strain to End After Season 4 on FX. So the strain has been renewed for a fourth and final season. Variety has learned currently in the midst of its third season. We're at episode five. The strain will return with season four in summer 2017, marking the final set of episodes for the thriller from Guillermo del Toro, Chuck Hogan, and Carlton Cuss. Um, we sincerely thank Carlton Cuss, Guillermo del Toro, Chuck Hogan, and their creative team, as well as the f uh, fantastic cast, for three exciting seasons of The Strain. Though we're sad to see it go, we fully support the way in which they are crafting the fourth season's dramatic conclusion, said Grad. Um, so you guys can check out the article for yourselves if you want to read it through and kind of see. Um, if you look at the wiki, uh, basically The Strain in the first season, it starts out with about three million viewers. And as we go through the seasons, it goes down to two. And then in the third season, it's under one. And I would say the third season, I think in terms of feel of the show, it's got 10 episodes, and I think it's done better than the first two, to be honest. I mean, in terms of uh, the cinematography, everything, it looks great. It's really scary. The intro's better. I really feel like they've improved the strain quite a bit. Um, it's unfortunate to see that the ratings are down even lower than they were in the first two seasons and that it hasn't uh, gotten any kind of momentum or picked up. But it doesn't surprise me because this show is on FX. And uh, FX is just one of those networks that, unfortunately, not many people watch in terms of ratings and what they pull in. You know, a few million is pretty good for them. Um, some of the other shows they've had on that are notable, probably season one of Fargo, I think was really, really good on FX. Um, but a lot of shows don't tend to last very long on FX. It's just the type of network that it is. And I think they've done a good job with the strength and uh, you know certainly with season three I think has been uh, really really good uh, season four we don't know how many episodes it's going to be um, I think 10 would be a reasonable uh, guesstimate, so to speak, and that uh, they should be they should be a great 10 episodes because it's going to be finishing up the series. So whoever they're going to kill off, whatever storylines they're going to do, however they're going to finish off, you know, the master and the uh, the vampire side versus the uh, human resistance side, uh, it should be really good to to wrap up to finish off. Um, so I am sad to hear that it's going to be ending, but at least we're getting a fourth season, and it's not going to be ending uh, at like a cliffhanger, and then the show gets canceled, and we never see it. Uh, uh, resolve fully. So at least we're going to see a full resolution in the fourth season. The series is going to end and um, it should be a good end. I'm going to miss the show because I do like the show quite a bit. Um, it's unfortunate that it never caught on more than it did in the first season. There was a bit of buzz about it in the first season, but I remember like when the first season hit, there's basically nobody talking about it. I review it but, you know, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys like it, but there's just uh, not as much buzz as that would need to be, I would think, for the series to go on longer. But also, too, you know, based on the source material, um, you have to see, like, okay, did they use up all the source material? Are they going to use it up by the time season four is ending? Is this what it looks like in terms of the translation? And uh, they've decided to, uh, to pull the plug after season four. So uh, happy and sad at the same time. Let me know what you guys think about them ending the strain. Um, I think it's, uh, you know, it's maybe, maybe it's good good because um, at least this way we get a definitive conclusion rather than being uh, left in the open with a cancellation at the end of season three or something and then that's it and then we just never get to see it so at least we get to see some kind of conclusion and that'll be it for my video my thoughts on it today guys uh, a bit sad but also happy at the same time that at least we're getting the fourth season you can write your comments below let me know what you guys think about the strain are you still into it are you still watching the show and how do you feel about it ending after next year 2017 if you like this video please don't forget to thumb it up below if you're new to the channel and you want to see future videos on the strain you can subscribe at the bottom left that's it for this video today i'll see you guys again soon for another as always is trev and i'm saying peace later guys see ya